this video, you join me aboard this state-of-the-art San Lorenzo SX112, a yacht that combines elegant and minimalistic luxury with cutting-edge performance. Powered by four Volvo IPS engines, each delivering 1,000 horsepower, this vessel reaches a top speed of 23 knots with incredible efficiency. Not only is it fast, but its advanced IPS drive system ensures low noise and vibration for a smooth, quiet cruising experience. With a range of over 1,000 nautical miles, this yacht offers a great blend of power, range and comfort, making it ideal for any voyage. Stick around to see more of its impressive features. So welcome back to the channel. I'm really looking forward to taking you around this very impressive boat. Before I do take you around, please don't forget to give the video a like and also don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. It is a free way to support the channel and I really appreciate it. But anyway, enough of that. Let's get on with the yacht tour. As we board the boat and start with the boat deck, let's talk about some of the technical prowess of the San Lorenzo SX112. She was built in 2023 and holds the prestigious Rena class pleasure yacht classification, which speaks to her design and safety standards. Cruising comfortably at 18 knots, this yacht has a full load displacement of 149 tonnes and her gross tonnage is 245 GT giving you both stability and space. Her hull features a fast displacement configuration which optimizes efficiency while cruising and she's built with a GRP hull and sleek teak decks, adding both durability and a touch of elegance. When it comes to accommodation, the SX112 can host up to nine guests overnight in four luxurious cabins, while 12 guests can enjoy the yacht during cruising. Whether it's a day at sea or an extended voyage, this boat offers plenty of space and comfort for everyone on board. The Highfield Aluminium SP600 Tender is fitted with a 150 horsepower Honda outboard and can be towed by the yacht at speeds of up to 18 knots. The crane has an impressive lifting capacity of 1,600 kilograms. Now, as we are filming at a boat show, I will have to be mindful of making sure visitors on board the boat are not inadvertently caught in the shot. So let's head up to the bridge deck and start the yacht tour from there. So here we are up on the bridge deck. As you can see aft, have these three sun loungers out here, which you can pretty much arrange uh, how you want, uh, depending on what you're gonna be using this area for. But of course, you've got the bimini out there as well. Life raft over there on the starboard side, outboard side, and another one over there on the port side as well. But check out the size of these doors that lead into the bridge. Again, over here on the port side, the seating area. And of course, you've got a retractable TV uh, in that bulkhead as well. The good thing is as well, if you wanted this open, you can open this up so you can expose this area to the sun. But another thing that I want to point out as well, again, the size of the windows on here. That pane of glass alone is absolutely huge. And if we look over to the starboard side where the helm position is, you get another view of those two massive pieces of glass over there as well. As you can see, this glass does open up so you can get some ventilation running through here. Over here on the port side, have a serving area, a wine fridge over there, and look, a sink as well with some more cabinetry under there, but yeah, check out that view. What a great place to come and socialize. Again, over here on the starboard side, loads of seating, look. You get plenty of people on there enjoying the view, especially on the daylights today, a sunny can. It's about 27 degrees, but apparently there's gonna be a storm coming tomorrow, so try and get as much filming done as possible. Over here on the starboard side, have the helm position, throttle control levers there for the Volvo Penta engines. There's actually four engines on board and we'll go down into the engine room in just a second. And you can see, look, IPS control stick over there, and the bow thruster control, a Raymarine depth sounder, multi-function display over there on the right, the radar picture over there on the left. And again, more multi-function display 
options over here thanks to this huge Raymarine display as well. This boat is fitted with a very impressive Raymarine Diamond navigational package. It features the Quantum 2 radar with Doppler technology, offering real-time information on moving targets and potential collision risks, along with short and long-range detection for all-weather navigation. You can see the rudder angle indicator and more controls for the Volvo Penta engines. But again, if we just look at that view, a serious amount of glass up here. Right, let's head back down next level. Let me take you into the accommodation areas. Descend down these stairs. And look, I'll show you the saloon here. And this here is actually the retractable TV. And check out the size of that television. This 49 inch up and down TV is integrated with a multi-zone amplifier featuring airplay and a home theatre system, complete with a subwoofer and five speakers. Okay, seating over here on the left, all modular seating, so you can pretty much set this area up how you want to. More seating over here on the right, and again, massive windows. Obviously the blinds are down at the moment, but you can imagine the view that you get when these blinds are up. Uh, a minute ago, obviously I mentioned about the engine room. The engine room access is over here on the starboard side, and I'll take you down there in just a second. Right, let's move forward. Again, past the centerpiece staircase that leads up onto the bridge deck and down into the accommodation. Over here on the starboard side, this opens up to reveal plenty of glasses for your guests to keep their wine continually topped up. A great use of storage here. I love the fact that these doors shut and obviously that's all flush. Over here on the starboard side, more of a formal dining area. And of course, if I show you over here on the port side, that is where we have the galley. But again, another feature that is prominent throughout this vessel are those massive windows. Check that out. Pantograph door over here on the starboard bulkhead leads out onto the starboard side deck. Before we continue with the tour of the interior spaces, let's head out back onto the deck so I can show you around before we come back inside and finish off the tour of the interior spaces. As you can see, we have really, really wide and spacious side decks. I like the fact as well that if you look at these bulwarks, they're slightly flared out by a couple of degrees as well. So you really do get to benefit from that additional space that these slightly flared bulwarks actually do produce. As we emerge out onto the spacious bow, we get a closer look at those huge forward raking windows with, of course, the tinted privacy glass. As we enter onto the bow, as you can see, this is the perfect place to sit and relax with your friends and family. Plenty of seating up here, lots of places to sit and enjoy that spectacular view. Of course, over here on the starboard side, we have a table with some seating around it. But look, you can just imagine being at anchor, looking out and checking out the view over the bulwarks. Over on the port side, you can see at the moment it's configured with that table slightly lowered. So, as you can see, it turns this area into another great place for lounging and enjoying the sun. Obviously, we've got the Bimini up at the moment, providing some much needed shade. And look, if I just take you forward, you can see the ground tackle there, look. So two anchors on here. The anchors are deployed and recovered thanks to the two electric windlasses. And again, you really notice that flared bow. If I spin around now and I'll show you that window, that massive window. Again, over there on the left-hand side, that's where you have the dining area. And over there on the right, which is the boat's port side, is where you have the galley. And I'll give you a quick look at the uh, port side deck as well. I like the fact as well that this area here, look, you've got some locker space there, so you can stay away, whatever it is you want to keep in there. But look, I'll give you a view of the port side deck as well. And from this position on the boat, when we look up, we get a great view of the bridge deck with those forward raking windows. But now let's head back inside. Check out this piece of glass, it's absolutely huge. 
And look, you've got some storage behind there, recess that you can use uh, to stow things away. Another retractable TV over here on the left hand side with some more cabinetry underneath. But if I show you the view you get obviously out of this window when you're sat having a meal, but also the view that you get out of that massive forward raking window, that is absolutely huge. And there look, you get a sneak peek of the entertainment area outside on the bow. Right, let's spin around. I'm going to head aft and I'm going to turn right and I'll take you into the galley. It's over here. So yeah, decent sized galley in here. Obviously induction hob. All of the stuff that you need to cook up the kind of meal that your guests would expect on board a yacht like this. And yes, you do have the fiddles on here as well. So when you are cooking up some food and you're underway in the rough weather, you do have something to grab onto. Cold storage over there on the left hand side of the galley as you come in. But yeah, look, when you are cooking up the meal, not only can your guests see what you're cooking, but I guess you'll be able to see the reaction on their faces to the food uh, that's cooked up as well. But yeah, that's a really, really unique layout. I've not seen a layout like this before. But yeah, check out that view as well from, from a chef's perspective. Look at that. You're definitely not going to be wanting for natural light when you're working in here, that's for sure. With a large hob, double fridge freezer and ceramic hob top, this galley finished with stunning Cristillo quartzite white countertops offers both style and functionality. We'll move back into the saloon, past the huge TV, and we'll re around on ourselves and head down into the accommodation. So those are the steps that we came down a minute ago from the bridge deck and we descend down these stairs into the very nice, very cosy guest accommodation. Right, where should we start? Let's start forward into this VIP cabin, double cabin. Oh, beautiful air conditioning. As you can probably guess, I'm gonna take a few minutes to film down here as it is really, really cool, which is just how I like it. Got the blind down at the moment, but as you can see behind that, we've got a porthole, reading lights on either side of the bed, and you can control the climate in here as well, thanks to that iPad. I really love the indirect lighting around the bed as well, really nice touch. And of course, over here on this bulkhead is where we find the Samsung TV. Big mirrors over here, and behind those mirrors, plenty of hanging wardrobe space as well. I really like the light features on this boat. Very nice. Right, let's spin around and I'll show you the ensuite. Standard salute in the mirror there, as you were. And check out that marble sink. Obviously toilet down there on the right. And if I take a step in, I'll show you the shower quickly. Open that up. There you go, big shower, rain head. Up there, look, indirect lighting in four corners. A handy place to stow all of your shower, gel and shampoo. And obviously you've got the handheld shower as well. Right, let's head back out into the main cabin. We'll spin around and now we're head aft. And just so you can orientate yourself, that is the starboard side and that is the port side and that is aft. Again, like digital control for the climate in here. Let's head back past the staircase and into the second cabin. As you can see at the moment, this is configured as a single, but if you wanted to, you can move these two beds together uh, to make a double bed. And also as well, we have a Pullman up here. So if you happen to have three kids, this would be a great place for them to bunker down with three beds. Pool hole over there, which can be opened up. And again, you've got a blind that can be manually operated to make it dark in here. I like the storage cubby holes in here as well. And over there, you've got the power point, reading lights again, another iPad there so you can control the climate in here. Another reading light on that bed. But yeah, very, very comfortable, very spacious and lots of headroom as well. 
Another San Lorenzo door there, another thick door. Check out the thickness of that. Wow. Okay, and let's go into the ensuite. Toilet down here on the left hand side. Obviously, a blind over there with another porthole, another marble sink, and a nice, decent sized shower. Again, with a rain head, four spotlights in there and the handheld shower over there. Some storage underneath the sink. Right, let's back up, go back out into the hallway and head forward. I'm gonna take you now into the second VIP cabin. This is the master suite. Obviously we're heading there in a minute, but let me show you this second VIP cabin. Massive bed there, indirect lighting all around it. You can walk all around the bed, obviously. And look, over there, we have a vanity area, just behind that door. And if you wanted to catch up with some emails or catch up with some work, you pull up a seat there, look, and what a view you'd get. Obviously, being in the boat show, we've got boats either side of us at the moment, so the blinds are shut. But check out those huge vertical portholes. Plenty of natural light in here. Note as well, the speaker recessed into the overhead. So when you're watching telly or watching your favorite YouTuber or a film on that TV, I can imagine you get a really, really good sound, acoustic sound in here. Big mirror on that bulkhead as well, look. Another iPad over there. And check out that light feature. Not seen a light like that before. Very nice, almost like a mushroom shape. Indirect lighting again, all around the deck. And that take you into the ensuite. Again, another marble sink here. Porthole over there. Of course, we have the toilet. Very nice. Another salute, and give you a quick look in here. I'm pretty sure you can imagine what it looks like, but there we go, another rain head shower. Pretty much the same setup as we find in the other cabins. Right, let's shut that. Head back out into the cabin. Again, look, plenty of hanging locker space over there as well. Okay, so now we go into the master suite and check out that for a master suite. Absolutely stunning. It's got an area we can sit over here just as we enter on the left-hand side. Beautiful indirect lighting all around the bottom of that massive bed. And again, look, two huge vertical portholes over there on that bulkhead. Again, reading lights either side. And they've got the iPad again for the climate control. Plenty of hanging wardrobe space over there. And look, if I spin around, huge TV in that bulkhead. And again, speakers recessed into the overhead or the deck head, if you prefer to call it that. It's actually four speakers in here. So again, I can imagine the sound system in here is absolutely phenomenal. Let's just open up this. I can't remember what's in there. Oh, there we go, look, some more storage. Small walk-in wardrobe there, look. I'm gonna shut that. I'm gonna take you out there in a second and explain a little bit more about the setup in just a minute. First, I wanna take you into the owner's ensuite because you'll notice straight away this area is flush with white onyx. Look at that. His and her sinks over there. Look, plenty of mirrors. And again, look, a rain head shower. But yeah, check that out. You can just imagine the weight of all this white onyx. I'd hate to imagine how much that actually weighs, but craftsmanship, absolutely second to none, beautiful. Again, look, porthole in there with the blinds and a toilet down there. But yeah, wow, what a place, what an area. Absolutely stunning. Obviously got the digital control for the climate there on that bulkhead. Let's walk back into the master cabin because as you'll notice from here, from this angle, you get access out into the beach club area. So you can wake up in the morning and if you fancy it, head straight out into the beach club. Enjoy a nice relaxing coffee before your day gets started. You'll notice though, 
we do have a sliding door here as well. So if you've got guests on board uh, and your guests are enjoying this area and you want to partition it off for a bit of privacy, you just shut that door there and you'll notice this door and behind here we have the day head. Again, look, marble sink in there as well. Obviously a toilet. But yeah, so if you want to, you can shut that off for your privacy whilst your guests still enjoy this fantastic area out here. Let's take you out and have a look. Now, obviously, because we are tied up alongside, we do have a boat either side of us. I can't show you in this part of the video, but you'll notice that this part of the bulkhead actually lowers down. So it opens this area out into a huge beach club. Again, look, you've got another one over there. That one can open up. Sun pad over there, so nice place to sit and relax. You check out the view, look. Absolutely fantastic. Massive sliding doors there as well with blinds, so you can obviously shut that, close the blinds, and yeah, this area can be set up ready for your nighttime operations, which could include, if you wanted to, having a workout. Check that out. I've not seen a uh, techno gym rig like that before, but very impressive. Very nice touch. Obviously an owner who is uh, very keen uh, on keeping their fitness up. Another techno gym bike over there, look. But yeah, loads of headroom in here. Obviously tons of natural light and fresh air coming into the area. Yeah, really, really nice touch. And of course, as I say, if you want to, you can go out onto the boat deck from here. And you'll notice as well that, look, obviously that folds down and actually extends all the way along until we get to the crane. There's actually two cranes on this boat. So obviously one over there on the port side, uh, another one over there on the starboard side as well. But yeah, I'll cut in some footage in this video of those boardwalks down, just so you can see what it looks like. But yeah, absolutely fantastic area. I love it. A great place to come and do a workout before you enjoy an indulgent meal with your friends and family. Okay, let's head back over here onto the port side where I send these steps. Because what I'm going to do now is take you into the engine room. Just open this up. As I said earlier on in the video, the engine room access is over here on the starboard side through this door. So I should pop this open and descend into the engine room. And if you are an engine room fan, which I'm sure many of you are, I pretty much guarantee you're gonna love this space. You have to bear with me as I descend down the steps, the camera in one hand, whilst obviously holding on with my other hand. But look, this area here is almost like a mini ship's control center. All the switches over here on this bulkhead, all the generators, gen sets, electrical systems, as well, fuel pumps. Yeah, I really like it. A very commercial feel you know, in this part of the boat. Having a mini ship's control center here. Yeah, I really like it. But let's descend into the engine room. I'll show you the steps so you can see what I'm going to navigate. You have to excuse the uh, camera work as I come down these steps. Here we go. The good thing is, with this engine room as well, is that it is fully air conditioned. So, let's bend down here and show you. And this is immaculate down here as well. I was down here a minute ago with the engineer who's pointing out some of the features. But yeah, look at this. There's all the various manifolds over there. Little walkway, little head down, passing the water maker over there on the starboard side. That water maker is producing about 200 litres of fresh water per hour. Check out that look. Nice blower, blowing really nice cold air in here. Fire extinguisher over there on the bulkhead. Yeah, let's move into the real business end of the boat, the engine room. 
as you can see, this beast is powered not by one, not by two, not by three, but by four engines. Very, very impressive. Obviously generator over here on the starboard side, with another generator over there on the port side. Fuel filters over here. Obviously more over there as well, look. But yeah, check out this for an engine room. And it's absolutely immaculate as well. Let me just walk over this bit and I'll show you all the way off. There we go, look. So we've got IPS number one over there. Number two, number three, and number four over there. And there we go, that is the engine room. So let me know what you think in the comments below. For those interested in the technical details, the four IPS3 1350 SD Volvo D13 engines each deliver 1000 horsepower. The Volvo IPS steering system ensures precise handling, while the zero speed and underway 7kW electrical fin stabilizers keep the ride smooth. She is equipped with two upgraded generators, each delivering 65 kilowatts of power, and also features a 400 vac three-phase 125 amp shore power converter. She can hold 2,200 litres of water, 950 litres of grey water and 850 litres of black water and fuel capacity is an impressive 18,800 litres. At cruising speeds she burns 100 litres per hour at 10 knots, 325 litres per hour at 16 knots and 600 litres at top speed. With only 350 engine hours, the engines are in excellent condition. When it comes to her range, if you are happy to motor along at her displacement speed of around 10 knots, then you can expect a range of just under 2,000 nautical miles. The yacht is operated by a crew of five, including the captain. However, as is often the case with boat tours filmed during boat shows, the crew were on board and since boat shows are an incredibly busy time for them, I chose to respect their privacy. So once again, thanks for joining me on this yacht tour. I hope you've enjoyed having a look around. I'd like to say a massive thank you to West Nautical for making this boat tour possible. And at the time of making and uploading this video to my YouTube channel, this beautiful vessel is currently for sale. If you want to find out more, then make sure you head to the link in the video description. Until next time, fair winds and following seas. If you have got access to a boat you'd like me to feature on my channel then feel free to get in contact with me. You'll find my contact details on my website and I'll leave a link to my website pinned in the comments.